Good day, viewers, and welcome to your class on English language once again. And to continue with the class for today, we are still looking at the um, we are still looking at the 2019 West Africa Senior Secondary Certificate Examination. And then this time around, we are focusing on questions 31 to 35. And questions 31 to 35 usually test your knowledge on the topic line. So, now what do we mean when we say two or more words rhyme? What we mean basically is that th these words have the same last sounds. Now, so that means we have two or more words that have the same last sounds. For instance, look at the word um, full, and the word wool, and the word school, and the word doom, and the word room and the word um let's say broom now when you look at all of these words you would realize that <coughs> most of these words have the same last sound and, and aside from the that they have the same last sound they also have the same vowel sounds in the middle of those last sounds also except for some of them now what i mean by this is that now if you look at doom room and broom you would realize that the word room has the long o the word broom has the long o and the word do um, the word doom long o the word room long o and the word broom long o and then they all have the m mm sound m mm sound so all of these words now they, we could call them rhymes now if we have to now choose two of them that even rhyme more than the other one you would go for room and broom because for this this one still has uh, and this one still has do you get it so that this is what we call rhyme so they have the same last sound or last sounds so it can be the last sound of all of them it can be the last two sounds it can be the last three last four sounds of this word School also, if you look at the word full, we have the long O, we have the long O also here too, in school. But here we have the short O. So that means that for these, we have just full and school being the two words that rhyme together. Full does not rhyme with them because full has the short O sound. Do you get it? So when we talk about rhyme, we look at we're talking about words, two or more words that actually have the same last sound or sounds in themselves. So rhyme is a very very simple topic, but the only problem with the number of students when it comes to rhyme is that they actually don't really know the correct pronunciation of some of these words that they are testing on. So when you understand rhyme you know that your five mark question on rhyme schemes or on rhyme is already a done deal do you get it that's just a, so let's go to the questions that we have on rhyme schemes sorry that was a mistake so we're going into the questions that we have on rhyme scheme now like i said earlier every of those questions would always have an example that they give you so we have an example here we have the question and the instruction usually goes this way from the words letter A to D choose the word that rhymes with the given word you so you have to choose the word that rhymes with a particular given word and what's the given word this time around we, we're given the word obtain so we're given the word obtain and then we have options D A T D E T A I N we have D E T A I L we have C L A I M and then we have finally L E L A Y. Now if you look at the word obtain, the word obtain is pronounced obtain. First of all, another thing you should consider about rhyme is that to an extent also we also consider stress patterning of the word. Now when you look at the word obtain, we have something like this. Now the last sound in the word obtain is the n sound and it followed by the a followed by the t. 
Now, question is which of these words has that combination of sounds? If you look at the lay, what we have as the last sound is a, the n is not there, so it can never be relay. Do you get it? So it can never be relay. And neither can it be claim because the last sound we have in the word claim is the mm. So that means it cannot be claim also. And then detail, like detail. Can it be detail? Sorry, can it be detail rather? No, why can't it be detail? Because first of all, the word detail ends with the l sound. Although it has every other sound that we have in um, um, in the last syllable of obtain, but then it's different at a point. Do you get it? So that's just it. So we have... Sorry, mistake. We have detail. And it's even stressed on the first label, so that means it cannot be the answer. So the only answer we have here is detain, detain, detain. Stress on the second syllable, and then as the same, you can see last four sounds as obtain. Do you get it? So that's why option A is the correct answer on the dear example. So let's go to the questions. Question 31. 31. We have the word H O R D E, and then we have the options H O R S E, we have B O R and B O A R D, we have H A R D, and then we have B U D. Now, don't forget that we said when we talk about rhyme scheme, we talk of most often the last sounds, not the first sounds. Do you get it? So that means that H O R D E is pronounced hard. Now, if you look at option A, it almost seems as though it's the correct answer because it has the same beginning sound, but it's not going to be the answer because when we talk about rhyme, we're looking at the end sounds most often, not the beginning sound. Do you get it? So, the only one that has the same thing with it is bored. We have the duh and then we have the or. Hard is the long R sound, it's of 8, and then bad is the vowel number 10. So the only answer is option B, B, boards. We have the odd, just like we have odd here. Do you get it? That's just it. Let's look at 32. Question 32. We have F-I-L-E, F-I-L-E, and we have S-I-G-H. We have P-I-N-E, we have B-L-I. C Z and then we have A I L <coughs> S E sorry that was a mistake we have A I S L E now looking at these words that we have here you would see that the word F I L E is pronounced file file so we are looking at the aisle aisle so Psi does not have the L even though it has I Pine also does not have the L, even though it has I, it has N rather. Blitz is even totally different from them. Do you see that? So the only word is I'll. Now A I S L E is pronounced I'll. It's not ISOL. So never you make that mistake. The word is pronounced I'll. Like the letter S is silent. So it's I'll. And it could also be spelled I. S L E still the same pronunciation I so option D is the correct option there. Question thirty three. We have T R E A S U R E and then we have options V A P O U R B we have T R E A S O N C we have L E I S U R E and then D we have T E X T U R E. So the word given is pronounced treasure, treasure, treasure. So what we're looking for is most likely something that has je, je and er, as we have here. Now, option A is pronounced vapor, vapor. So it has the short sound, but it doesn't have the je sound, so it cannot be the answer. Option B is pronounced treason, treason, treason. 
it has zero and it has mm at the back and treasure does not have mm at the back so it cannot be the answer option c is pronounced leisure so option c is obviously the answer option d is pronounced texture and it's also not the answer because the oh sorry mistake for option d texture so it's not the answer because the sound before the short sound is ch and not j. So the only correct answer is option C, leisure C. 34. 34. We have <coughs> great. G L E A T. And then we have options like H E A R. Sorry. A R T Y. B we have H A Y. C we have D A T A and D we have W E G H T. Now the word is pronounced great. So that means we're looking for something that has some like the A sound. The A. Now option A is pronounced hearty. Hearty. So that cannot be our answer, obviously. Option B is pronounced hey. Hey. Now, hey, it has the A, but it doesn't end with T. So, we may, it may not be our answer. C is pronounced data. That could have been the answer, but it has the schwa sound after the T. So, it is not our answer, obviously, also. So, D is wait, wait. So, A. So, option D is the correct answer because it has A and T. Do you get it? Then, question 35. Question 35. So we have the word M E S S A G E. M E S S A G E. Option A we have B U D G E T. Option B we have P A S S A G E. Option C we have M A S S A G E. And option D we have A G E I N G. So the word is pronounced message, message, stress on the first label and then we're ending with the G and then the E sound coming before the G and then this. So we have message, message. So we are looking for something that has something like age or siege. So now look at the first word, we have budget, budget. Now it has G, but after the G we have the E and the T, it's wrong. That's not what we're looking for. Um, Passage passage is our correct answer because passage has G followed by the E followed by S and that's what we had here but let's look at other words too massage <coughs> excuse me oh sorry I made a mistake again the long R massage now what we had in massage is different now don't make the mistake of thinking that okay we have s s a g e um in message s s a g e in massage massage s s a g e in passage and then maybe that should be our answer no our answer is chosen by sounds not letters do you get it your letters and not your sounds take note of that your letters and not your sound and then the last thing we have is aging aging so as you can obviously see for yourself, the only word that has almost the same last sounds with message is what? Passage, as you can see. So option B is our answer. And that's the end of the video on rhyme for today. Thanks. Have a nice day. Bye.